wanted to show a quick demo of the new health checks and failover feature in Pangolin. And this is available in the Pangolin Cloud and Manage Pangolin instances right now. So what we've done is we've actually removed the site from the resource and we've attached the site to a target. So you can see I have an example uh, resource right here, which I can open and go to here in this different tab and it works. And right, this sort of works like typical, you have one uh, resource here, or sorry, one target here on this one resource, but you can see that this target is on this site. So what we can actually do now is we can add a second target to load balance between two different of the same backends if you wanted to do that. So for example, um, I could add a target on the other site, set test two, and I will also do that on localhost. These are both just connected to my desktop as a test. And I have another Nginx server running on 8001. So if I save this, um, you can see now what will happen is <coughs> I have uh, two targets. So it'll actually round robin, round robin load balance between both of these targets. So we can see that if we go here and we reload, you can see how the server name is changing every time I reload the page because it's round robining between the two targets, right? That makes sense. So what can happen now is if a site goes down and if the site goes offline or if a health check dies, it'll remove one of those targets from the rotation and it'll uh, only load balance to one, right? So there's your failover. We can simulate that real quick with the health checks. So I'm gonna set up a health check. You can see by default, it's unknown. That's fine. It'll just, it'll still serve traffic to targets that are unknown health check state. So I'm gonna I just enable the health checks on both of these. Um, it's just gonna do an 8,000 um, port on local host and just get the root <coughs> and look for any um, author, any HTTP code 200 to 300. So these default settings should be fine to check if um, it's healthy. You can actually reduce the unhealthy interval so it checks even more frequently when it's unhealthy. We can save that and we can set up the same thing here on the other instance, maybe bring this down to five. So now we're gonna have both targets running health checks against um, both of the uh, targets. So what we should see here momentarily if we reload the page is they're gonna start uh, checking the health status of each of the targets. So both of these are healthy now, which is awesome. Um, so this should function the same way as we expect. Now, every time I reload the page, it's load balancing between the two targets. Now, if we were to <coughs> trigger one of these targets to go unhealthy, um, that would mean that um, it will no longer serve traffic from it. So I'll switch to my terminal here and you can see the two Nginx demos that I'm running. Uh, as the test here, and I'll just kill this Docker container. So now we only have one um, target up and running for this instance. So if I switch back to Pangolin in a moment or two, we should see, yep, we should see that the target two at 8001 has gone unhealthy. And now if I go back to this and I reload, you can see it's only actually serving from the one server name here. So this allows you to do super easy health checks and load balancing between your instances if you want to have a high available app.